Hey there, my name is Kern, and today I am going to show you how to get the key to Blackrock Depths. Please note that I'm currently recording this on retail because Classic has not come out yet, so there may be some minor changes between what you're seeing here and what you'll see in Classic. That said, you definitely need to be in Blackrock Mountain. So you'll want to come into the mountain and then uh, you'll actually just want to die. Uh, so you can die down here, either by falling or just by dying in the lava. Uh, so let's try to get a falling death here. And uh, then I will show you why you want to die. No, oh, I fell into the lava. Sure. Either way, wherever you die, you want to be near a place where you can stand so you can eventually get your body back. Now once you die, you'll show up at either the graveyard for Searing Gorge or Burning Steps, depending on where in the mountain you die. Of course, on retail, I am going to show up at Forgerate's Tomb, which is very convenient because this is exactly where we want to be, because we want to talk to this guy, Frank Lorne Forgerite. Um, so in order to get here, like we're within the center part of the mountain right now. So you would need to come back down the chain. Come back down the chain from wherever you're going, uh, or coming from rather, and then you're gonna come down here into the tomb, and come down here, and then you'll see Frank Lorne. Now, you can talk to him, he's a ghost. He does not appear uh, otherwise, unless you're a ghost, which is why you have to die. So, uh, you can talk to him. now. What you're going to need to do is talk to him, accept a quest, complete the quest, and then pick up the next quest. Do not leave without getting the second quest. Once you've done that, you can then go down here and down the chain as you normally would. Oops, wrong chain. This one. And uh, get your body back. So you see, I died right near here, so I can accept my res and get my body back. Um, if you're level 55 or higher, you'll want to talk to this guy here to get the quest to attune yourself to Molten Core, um, which does not obviously on retail require an attunement any longer, uh, but there you go. So we're just going to run into Beardy. Now, on Classic, if memory serves, there will be more mobs here. It will just be a couple of stray dudes. Uh, that said, uh, Overmaster Pyron will be patrolling as he does. He goes up and down these um, sort of paths. Uh, so you can take a moment and kill him if you like. I should also note that it is not safe to stand all the way over here. There are dudes who will spawn uh, if they haven't already. So uh, now that we're at BRD, we're going to enter the instance. Now, of course, what you're about to see here on my screen is not what it looks like in Classic. You don't have any mole machines. You don't have any quest givers, nothing like that. In order to get these quests, and you certainly don't have any of these things, um, in order to get the quests, you'll probably want to be at Morgan's Vigil if you're Alliance. I'm not sure where you are for the Horde, um, but that's where you should pick up a lot of quests for here. Um, anyway, so we're going to go through and I'll show you what you need to do when you don't have the key in order to get the key. So again, on Classic, there's more mobs. Also, these hounds can see through stealth. So that's not great. Uh, you also want to be very careful uh, not to let runners go. Runners are typically mobs that um, are low on health, and so they run away. If they do that, they will probably aggro. God only knows how many of these dudes. So you want to make sure that you clear out as much of this stuff as you can without wasting maybe too much time. Anyway, you basically just want to come straight over here 
and go to the Ring of the Law. So I'm just going to kill these guys here. Now this is a great moment to drink up. Uh, you do not really want to come in here without full mana, full health, all of that stuff. So once you are ready to do that, uh, once you're all set to go, you can enter here. Now, this is where we want to go. You see, we can't interact with the door right now. But this is ultimately where we want to go to go up to the east garrison of uh, BRD. And you can see that up here, you can see that there are some mobs. They are, in fact, angry mobs. Why are they angry? Well, these are people who just want to see a good fight. So they are here to watch you participate in the Ring of the Law event. And if you don't, they will remain hostile. Uh, so that's basically why we're here. Uh, once you're ready to start the event, you can stand on here and High Justice Grimstone will spawn and threaten you. Uh, you'll have a couple of waves of mobs coming out of this door here. And then when those are done, you'll have, um, I believe he'll come back out again and announce that another mob is coming out. All of these mobs are relatively random. Um, obviously there are set bosses and such, but you won't know which one you're gonna get. There's no set schedule. You can get bats, spiders, snakes. Um, so remember that there are in fact two waves of uh, mobs coming out. So, you know, crowd control is very nice here. And so after the second wave, uh, Grimstone comes back out, he'll threaten you some more. And then the boss in question will come out uh, of this gate. And like I said, you don't know which it's gonna be. So this is an optimum time to drink up, heal up, bandage, do whatever you need to do. You may not have a really long time between the death of the first dudes and then this guy coming out. So we had spiders, so now we obviously have the spider boss. We kill the spider boss. All right, uh, and so then if you go back up, you can see that they're now neutral mobs. They're no longer hostile. So we now wanna go up here towards the east garrison. Now bear in mind, the garrison is packed. There is a lot of mobs there and uh, also patrols. So that's uh, something to watch out for. So a good thing to do is to sort of wait here and just take a look to see what's going on. Uh, see, there's a fire guard patrol that just went by. And uh, so there's mobs here. There's a bunch of mobs over in this sort of dining area. There will be more than this probably. Um, but we don't want to go either left or right. We don't even want to go down here to open up the Shadow Forge lock because uh, we don't have the key. So let's go up here into the upper ring of the law. Now, now that we've actually done the event, all of these people are neutral, so you don't have to worry about aggroing them. But if you have the key and have gotten into these garrison without doing the ring of the law, but someone else in your group needs the key, then you'll probably just want to hug the wall. But like, they're level 60s and such, so level aggro is a thing. Um, even if you're like level 55 or so, you could probably pull these guys. So you may not want to fight your way through here. It might be easier to do the Ring of the Law instead. Anyway, here we are uh, in the Shrine of Thorison, and none of this elemental stuff is here uh, in Classic. That said, uh, the layout is basically the same. So our goal will be to come back to that statue. Um, but first, we have to go get our quest item. The quest item is something called Iron Foe. And Iron Foe drops from the chief architect. Uh, his name is Phineas Darkfire. And so what we're going to do here is go kill Phineas Darkfire. Um, it, I should note that BRD is truly a legitimately very large instance. 
it is massive. So we're not going to cover everything you can do in BRD today, we're just going to focus on getting the key. Um, so you come across this bridge, do not fight on the bridge, fighting on the bridge is bad, you'll see that these things um, will spawn uh, guards and such every so often. Don't fight on the bridge, some of these mobs have knockbacks, knockbacks would be bad especially when there's lava below you. Anyway, uh, now we're going to enter the domicile. Again, on classic, this is going to be more crowded if memory serves. So you'll want to be very careful as you come through here and very carefully um, uh, take out patrols like this guy and strategically take out mobs because you don't want to spend your entire time in the dungeon killing all of these mobs. So we'll come down here through the domicile. Now be careful, there is a group of mobs right here. There's also a patrol, uh, so you'll want... There he is, he's, he's in the back right there, the fire elemental. Can't really see him. There he is. Uh, anyway, uh, in these packs, there's only generally a couple of elites. They are the Twilight people. The Shadowforge peasants, who are hostile, uh, are not elites at least. So there's like three elites in this group. So bear that in mind, and then watch out for any patrols coming by. Um, so you'll clear through a couple of groups here. Some of them are ranged, like that guy, he, was, um, he had a rifle. Uh, this was a medic, so be careful for anyone who's healing. And there's that patrol I was telling you about. Down here is where the Dark Coffer is, and the Dark Coffer Keeper. Uh, that's a whole other quest, um, one of many that can be found here in Blackrock Deaths. Anyway, so you get your thing, and then you come over to here. This is where you'll find Phineas Darkfire. Now, Phineas Darkfire has quite the long patrol path, so the best thing to do is to type in Tar Finn for Phineas, and if you've got a raid uh, target icon, you can pop it on his head so you can see he's down there somewhere. So if we come over this way, you can actually see where he is. So he'll stand here for a while, and then he'll come up and stand here for a while, and then he'll come up here and stand here for a while. So it's really long. <laughs> Um, it would actually be easier probably and faster to fight your way down to him But if he's already up here in, your, in his patrol, then your life is just that much easier So fight your way down or wait for him. What have you? When you kill these uh, constructs generally these guys will aggro um, There are generally more of them too again. I think that this has been nerfed over time Oh, look, he's actually on the move. And I killed him, so I aggroed him. So, kill him, and he will drop uh, Iron Foe. Which, obviously, is not in the game, because there are no keys in retail. Anyway, so having done that, we can then return to where we came from and go back down that other part of the hallway in the Shrine of Thorison. So we will head on back there. All right, we're back at the Shrine and we will take out these mobs. I should note that this guy here, Pyromancer Lorgrain, he has a chance of dropping the Fiery Enchant. So it's a pretty quick um, run, really, uh, if you are at max level. Uh, and you have like a rogue or a druid, you can sneak by most of these things, especially if you've got the key or if your lock picking is high up, high up enough uh, to come here, sneak over here and just kill him uh, and his adds uh, in order to get fiery. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can reset that every, every time you try and you've got a few different attempts per hour. 
Anyway, uh, so you can kill him and his ads, and then this statue will have a quest for you. And once you turn in the quest, you get the key. And I strongly suggest that you clean out your bags before you come down here. Anyway, that's how you get the key. And in a subsequent video, I will be showing you how to go about using that key and what else you can do here in Blackrock Depths. Thanks so much for watching.